Oh, yeah, some of you guys could be fantasizing as well, too. Could be some, you know, fantasizing going on in your head. You could possibly be in your head on, you know, just thinking about a decision. Thinking about making a choice. I feel like there's a choice that needs to be. You need to make a choice, okay? That's what I'm sensing. Or you're waiting for someone to make a choice. Okay, so the first card we have is the Page of Swords. So there could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved. Or you could be feeling as if you're being watched or you're possibly watching the hell out of someone else. Or there's some gossiping going on. There's some looking on someone's social media accounts. But I feel as if you feel like you are being watched. I feel like you are feeling like someone is talking about you or you're being watched. But I just feel like there is someone spying on someone. I'm not sure if it's you or them, but someone is spying, okay? The challenge is the Five of Pentacles. There could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn involved. Um, but the challenge is feeling left out in the cold, rejected, okay? This is the challenge. Um, there's something that you could be holding on to. There's something you could be holding on to, okay? And in the recent past, we have Ace of Pentacles. So there could have been an offer on the table or opportunity. Um, but this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy as well. So there's a lot of Pentacles here. So there could definitely be another Earth sign involved. Um, but this is an opportunity, okay? This is um, in regards to your finances, material, um, opportunity, okay? Maybe there's a fire sign involved. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but you could feel like someone is coming back and forth. You could feel like someone is, you know, being inconsistent. Maybe you're being inconsistent. But then we have somebody, we have the Knight of Swords here, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But this is young energy, okay? Maybe someone younger than you. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's young, um, you know, really rash to make decisions, hasty. Um, but someone could be rushing back in or they could be rushing out. You're feeling the need to stand up for yourself or paired up here with the four of pentacles maybe you're resisting standing up for yourself okay you feel like someone could possibly be talking about you or someone is saying has something to say but you're trying to resist from either physically fighting this person or you're like having to defend yourself you're trying to possibly you know hold back resist you know resisting from having to take, to take things that far okay seven of wands talks about defending yourself standing up for yourself okay maybe there was something shocking um in regards to your finances or a position or opportunity um here in the recent past but there could possibly be some changes or someone's someone could possibly stop um you know, ended their, you know, inconsistency. Someone was coming back and forth, in and out, okay, here with the Knight of Wands energy. Or there could be a Scorpio involved, okay? A Scorpio could be going, you know, back and forth, in and out. But this, um, the Death card talks about endings. It also talks about transformation. It's temporary endings, okay? So here, paired up here with the Knight of Wands, when the Knight of Wands shows up, this is temporary energy. So maybe something is not so temporary. You want something to come out of being temporary, okay? You want something solid here with the Ace of Pentacles. You want something that's going to be worth something here with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups. Maybe there is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved, but this is future energy. So maybe there's a sense of someone could be rushing in here with the Knight of Swords energy. Someone could be rushing in um, with some type of um, message or some type of communication um, expressing how they feel. Queen of Cups, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and they express how they feel in matters of the heart, okay? Clarify the Knight of Swords. 
Or maybe you could possibly be, um, we have the Four of Wands, okay? The Four of Wands talks about home life. It talks about stability. It talks about marriage. Um, so maybe there's something about give and take, okay? Equal, equal give and take here. Someone could be expressing that they want equal give and take, you know? They don't want anything unrequited, and I don't blame you. Um, you want it to be fair, and I'm sensing that someone could want to be, you know, possibly want something long-term, stable, long-term commitment, okay? And I feel like you're willing to take a risk and you're, you're rushing in towards that or someone is rushing towards you with that type of energy, okay? But I'm just saying, like, you could feel like someone is... Um, clarify the page of swords. Maybe someone said something about you. Said something about somebody. Clarify the page of swords. Okay, we have two of swords. So this is um, this is being indecisive. Maybe you're not sure what somebody said. Maybe you're not sure if somebody is watching. Clarify. Page of swords. Clarify the page of pentacles. Because the challenge is you feeling left out in the cold. Rejected. Clarify the five of pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, feeling rejected, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. And you're looking for a peace. We have the Virgo card here, which is the Hermit card. So you're definitely looking for a way to find balance and peace, okay? Because, yeah, you feeling, you know, could possibly have been feeling sad about a situation. And, you know, you're trying to, I feel like there's, could possibly, you're trying to find a way. You're resisting having to defend yourself. You're really not one. I feel like you're really not wanting to take that route because maybe you're not sure what someone said or if someone actually said it. You're not sure if they said it. You're not sure. I'm just like, you're not sure. You're like, someone said something or someone's watching. You're not, you possibly just heard it, but you're not sure. Okay. Let me find the tower card. Okay, got the Nine of Swords. So there's definitely stress here. Maybe you're stressed about your finances. This is like really stressed. And I'm sensing like possibly in regards to your finances. But I'm sensing like there's a sense of cutting out. Clarify the death card. It's like cutting out some back and forth movement. Clarify the death card. Why is the death card here? It's the death card here. Yeah, we got a three of pentacles. Like something's um, not going to work or not cooperating. Something is not going to work or something you're not willing to cooperate. Or someone is coming back and forth and you're like, this is not going to work. Okay. But I'm definitely sensing like Definitely sensing like someone could possibly be rushing into a long-term commitment or rushing back home. Because um, the four of wands talks about home life as well. But there's a sense of, um, I'm just sensing like, some of you guys feel like someone is watching you.
Hmm, let's just see how far it goes. All right, so the first card we have, guys, is attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? And then we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And then we have passion, okay? Well, it's a lot going on here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? Please clarify attraction, Virgos, please. What is attraction here? All right, we have the Six of Cups. So this talks about past energy, nostalgia. So maybe this is someone from your past. And then we have the Lovers card here at the bottom of the deck. So... Maybe there's, this is a lover from the past, okay? And there's an attraction. There's an attraction here, okay? Clarify honeymoon. Clarify honeymoon. Honeymoon. All right, so we have the seven of cups. So... There could possibly be, you could be fantasizing about a honeymoon. You could be fantasizing, um, you know, in your head about where you want to travel. You might have a lot of options on where you want to go to travel. But there's a sense of, yeah, I feel like some of you guys are being patient because you possibly are wanting to take things to the next level here with the four of wands. This is the marriage card. Um, the seven of pentacles talks about things being worth the wait, you know, being patient and waiting. Maybe you're waiting. Um, you're fantasizing about a honeymoon or you're fantasizing about taking things to the next level, engagement, marriage. But there's definitely a sense of, you know, you possibly in your head about honeymoon. Okay, we're going to clarify passion. Okay, we got the Three of Swords, okay? The Three of Swords talks about, you know, um, talks about sad, you know, being sad, heartbroken, um, possible third parties. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers, okay? So there could be a Gemini involved or there's a sense of, there could possibly be, you know, another individual. Clarify Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Maybe there's more than one sex partner. Sorry if I threw a sword. Okay, we have the chariot card, which is the card of cancer. Um, but this is talks talks about forward movement, okay? So maybe there's some forward movement from um a third party. But I feel as if we got the King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. And we also have the Empress. The Empress talks about new beginnings. It also talks about other parties being involved, okay? Clarify the Three of Swords. We got the Eight of Cups. So someone could be walking away from some type of passion or some type of third party situation, okay? I feel like someone is walking away. Um, and there's definite, you know, sneakiness going on going on here with the Seven of Swords. Someone could be wearing a false mask here. Then we got the Ten of Pentacles. See, there could be some sneaky energy um, that's going on here. The Ten of Pentacles talks about commitments, long-term commitments. Um, stability in a relationship. So there could be some, you know, sneakiness going on 
But I feel like someone could be deciding that they're going, you know, to walk away from a third party situation. I feel like that's what's going on here, okay? All right, guys, so that is going to be the message that I have for you guys. And if this resonates, leave me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you. Ciao for now.